SG caper here, doing a little painting again. Figured, what the heck, let's make a video. What am I painting? Well, tonight I'm gonna to be painting one of the second most frequently thing, frequently asked things I that I do, and that's painting jeans. Uh, everybody has their own method of, of painting jeans. I'm gonna paint on this figure here. Something I'm working on. This is just an uh, Indiana Jones mutt figure. It's been primed. And I'm going to paint the jeans. And yes, this was originally jeans, but I still like to paint my own. Going to try to do this. And hopefully it comes out. Sometimes it comes out great. Sometimes it looks like junk. But let's see how this goes. First layer, Citadel layer, scab and blight. Dinge, Citadel Lair, Scab and Bite Dinge. Going to get this on here. Now, when I do this, it's kind of a messy process. Uh, I'm not worried about how nice it looks. I, I really don't worry about much when I'm doing jeans. Uh, just, I don't know why, I just don't. So this is going to take quite a bit of this gray. And I want to do this fast. These, these paints, if you've worked with them before, you know they dry relatively fast. And I don't want these to dry, to be dry as I'm going. That's one of my tricks, is I do this all while the paint is still wet. I try to anyway. I just realized I'm painting and you can't see. What a great YouTube video this is, huh? Aren't I such a good content creator? No, no I'm not. And I'm not a content creator, I'm a board customizer. And I figured, what the hell. Besides, only like 10 of you watch my videos. I think you need 11 to be a content creator. That was a bad attempt at a joke. This first layer, again, it's just going to be kind of messy. It's just going to go on. I'm not super worried about it being even. I'm not worried about it at all. Right? I'm just trying to get this gray on as fast as I can without it drying too much between layers. That's right, layers. There's going to be a lot of paint put onto these. Isn't that great to see my dirty desk in these? I'm a pro at this, aren't I? All right, so this layer is done. I want it to be wet. I want coverage. Don't care about it being neat. Just want coverage. So, gray legs. What's next? Well, I'm going with blue jeans, so I'm going to use blue. And the blue I'm going to use is Citadel Base Cantor Blue. Here's the trick. I'm not washing my brush. I'm not washing my brush at all. I'm putting it into the paint. And back here on my palette, I'm actually just kind of mixing it with the gray that I was just using. And because this is still a little wet, as I paint, you'll see the color blend. Okay. And that's what I want. I want something that looks like jeans. And my characters, they're not wearing jeans right out of the store. They are living in a post-apocalyptic post wasteland. So their jeans are faded and nasty. So we'll get to that. Again, I'm doing this with the brush. Still wet. Didn't clean it. 
not trying to be neat. I'm not going to paint the cuffs. This sculpt has cuffs, and I'm not going to paint the cuffs because if you've ever cuffed jeans, you know that the cuffs are actually a different color because you're exposing the inside of the jean, and it shouldn't be painted the same color as what's on the outside of the jean. Because, however, they're dyeing the fabric when they do that, the inside just naturally doesn't get the same color. Okay, down and dirty. There we go. Still not done though. I'm going to take a little tan. This is Citadel Layer Carrick Stone. And I still haven't cleaned my brush, still dirty. And I'm putting this on the paper over here and everything's still a little wet. Now with this, I'm not going to do full coverage. I'm gonna fade the front and I'm gonna fade the back. I'm gonna leave the sides kind of the same. And I want almost to dry brush this on. You can see there it goes. to the back let it dry it's starting to dry and you know what? I am going to do the whole thing with these with this color because I like the way it's looking I'm going uh, left to right as you can see I'm going perpendicular to the legs to kind of create the fabric look to the pants. So they look kind of fabric-y. Okay. So far, so good. Still not done. I'm going to add a little white. Okay, back had the... So I'm doing white. Still haven't cleaned my brush. Brush is still dirty. I'm putting it on the same thing, kind of blending with those other colors on there. This will definitely only go on the front and back. And this is going to be more dry brush. So I'm getting as much of the paint off as I can. And I'm going to very lightly at first, just to make sure I'm getting the color I want it to be. Oh yeah, that looks good. So now I'll put a little more pressure, picking up that texture. Same on this side. A little bit on the sides, not too much. All right. And you can go as light or as dark as you want with this. Now, if you really want it, in fact, I will. I'm gonna go over this one more time with a little, little bit of the tan. Just a touch. And that's going to just kind of fade them, make them a little dirtier. Just a little bit. Okay. And there have been some figures where, like I've done zombies wearing jeans. And I'll take brown and I'll go over the ass area, make them look like they shut themselves. Uh, I'm going to take this color, I'm going to go around the cuffs slightly. And remember, I didn't do all of the work to the cuffs. The cuffs were the gray, they stayed that way. A little bit of color got on them, it's okay. It's more important that they stay slightly different color than the rest. And you pick up all the little details, all the little folds, and everything just kind of mixes on the figure. Not a lot of color mixing on the palette, it's on the figure. So it looks really natural. It all just kind of blends together. You can't see where one color starts and one color ends. And that's what I like about this for this technique. And I have used it to make some really faded jeans. If you look back into 
I figured and find Sly Rax. He has like a really washed out pair of jeans on. So, there you go. Jeans. Not super hard. You do gotta work kind of fast so that the paints don't dry. There you go. And then I'm now I'm gonna go in, I'll paint the boots and paint the shirt and finish the figure, but I figured I'd show you jeans my way. Hope that helped. Take it easy.